how to draw the Detroit Red Wings logo. We are going to start by drawing a big C near the bottom left of our page. This will be the start of the outline of the Detroit Red Wings logo. We will first draw the outline and then draw all the detail inside of it. After you're done drawing the C-like shape, you can go back and outline it to cover up any imperfections that there may have been. I'm going to go ahead and extend the bottom part of the C a little bit more. Starting from the top right of the C, we are going to draw a big, slightly curved line right here. Then starting at the top of that line, we are going to draw a small diagonal curved line going downwards. Awesome job! Now we are going to draw a small diagonal line going outwards from that one. Then we are going to draw a diagonal curved line going downwards like the one we drew before, and we're going to draw more curved lines going downwards just like this where my finger's tracing. Then we are going to draw five more curved lines like the one at the bottom of this shape all the way down till we get to the C that we drew at the beginning. Looking great so far, learn how to draw hub crew. And we're going to make sure that the last curve connects to the bottom of the C that we drew at the beginning. Wow, learn how to draw hub crew, our outline of the Detroit Red Wings logo looks awesome! Now we're going to start drawing the details on the inside. We will start by drawing a curved line inside the bottom half of the C shape we drew at the beginning. Then we are going to draw another curved line right above that one, but this one will be a little bit shorter on the right side. Then from that top curved line, we are going to draw a triangle-like shape going downwards, and then we will connect it to the bottom curved line. Good job! Now we are going to connect the left side of those two curved lines with some little zigzag lines. Great job! Now we are going to go to the top part of that C shape and we are going to draw a curved line underneath the outline. Then we are going to draw another curved line below that one that is connected on both sides with a small straight line. Awesome job! Learn how to draw hub crew! We're doing great so far! Next, we are going to draw a C-like shape right here in the center, similar to the one that we drew at the beginning, but this one is just going to be smaller. Then we are going to draw a smaller C right inside the one we just drew, outlining it, that will connect at the ends to the bigger C. Awesome! 
awesome job! Now right in the center of that C, we are going to draw a small circle. For this next step, we are going to draw seven very small triangles going around the circle. We will try to space out these evenly, but leave a bigger space near the right side of the circle. Awesome job! Now we are going to draw a little bit bigger of an upside down triangle in between each one of those small triangles we just drew, except we are not going to draw one on the right side of the circle. They will all look just like this one. To the right of the last small triangle, we are going to draw a triangle half the size of the ones that we've been drawing. Awesome job! Learn how to draw hub crew! Now above each one of those triangles that we just drew, we are going to draw a trapezoid. The smaller side of the trapezoid will be right above each triangle, and the bigger side will be outwards. They will all look similar to this one. The only ones that will look a little different will be the two outside ones. Great job! Just a few more to go! On top of the last triangle, we are going to draw a triangle instead of a trapezoid. And below the outside triangle that was smaller than all the rest, we are going to draw a small thin rectangle. Then we are going to draw an upside down triangle in between each one of those shapes right here where I'm pointing. Our drawings are really coming along! I can't wait to see them after this step is finished! Wow! Learn how to draw hub crew! Our drawings are looking awesome! Now we are going to start working on drawing the wing. We will start by drawing a curved line similar to the top outline, just like this where my finger is tracing. Then we are going to draw another curved line right below that one that's the same that connects at the left side with a small straight line and then we'll come to a point on the right side. Next we are going to draw another long curved line, but this one will start to the right of the small little triangle that we drew above the circle in the middle of the C shape, and will go all the way up and to the right like my finger is showing.
Then we are going to draw another curved line just like this one below it, and it will connect at both ends by coming to a point. Awesome job! Learn how to draw hub crew. The final steps will be to draw all the feather-like shapes in this big open area. The first feather will be drawn below the left side of the curved line we just drew, and we will start by drawing a small curved line. This will be for the left side of the feather. For the right side, we are going to draw a wavy line connecting from each side of this curved line we drew. Looks great! Most of our feathers are going to look just like this one but might be a little bit bigger. The next feather will be drawn in the space of this bump right here. Then for the top line of the feather, it's going to be a little bit wavy. You are going to notice that we are going to draw a feather where each one of these small bumps are on the outline. Looks awesome! Now we are going to draw the next feather above that one where the next bump in the outline is. And again, the top line of each one of these feathers is going to be wavy so that it looks more like a feather. And now we will draw another feather in the next bump in the outline. Great job! Learn how to draw hub crew! I think you're really getting the hang of how to draw these feathers! Now we're going to draw another one in the next bump in the outline. Three more feathers to go that will be drawn just like this following the bumps in the outline. Now we only have two more to go that will follow the bumps in the outline. And one more feather that will be in the same bump as the curved line we drew earlier right here. how to draw hub crew our drawings are looking awesome so far and we're almost finished now we are going to draw three triangle like shapes right here here and here these will have curved edges awesome now we are going to draw another one above that one and one more above that one
Now we just have one more row of feathers to do in between the triangle like shapes and the other feathers. Right here below the bottom triangle we are going to draw another one. We will be all finished after we draw five more feathers right here where I point. There will be four feathers directly above the end of the feather we just finished drawing, and then there will be one above the top triangle. Wow, learn how to draw hub crew! This was a long drawing tutorial and I'm glad you stuck it out until the end with me. I can't wait to see all of your drawings so make sure to share on Instagram by using hashtag learn how to draw hub. Also if this video helped you out give it a big like below so that we know you liked it and if you like drawing other logos you could look at the other tutorials we have on drawing logos or you could comment down below and let us know what logo you would like to see us draw next. Thanks for watching Learn How to Draw Hub. I always love drawing with you all. Make sure to stick around until the end so that you can see our drawing colored in, and we'll see you again next time! Hey Learn How to Draw Hub crew! If you like videos like this one, then we highly recommend that you consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can keep you updated on videos like this every single day.